everyone. Hi, Dr. Lightman. Hello. Hello, good day. We're continuing our course management skills. The topic of our meeting today is go setting goals and planning time. Last time we talked about how a person how can develop himself within the uh, society. We talked about self-realization. We talked about the spiritual level of a person according to Maslow a paradigm, where a person is engaging in the level of in, in the in the spiritual development wants to engage in self-cognition. According to his statistics, Maslow statistics, he says that only four percent of people is in this kind of search. But even those that are not on this path of searching, there's about 40% of people that are um, thinking that they're happy. And I, I actually think that there is more, more people than, than this percentage. That there is more people that are looking for the process of self-cognition and the meaning of life. And in order to um, and in order to find the meaning in life, you have to have a certain plan, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about planning and the limitations in our life. A person should have goal in his life. That that is obvious. What is the connection here? Is there is there a greater root in limitations? Is, does 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 nature have any any um, goal? The thing is that all throughout life we're developing and the direction of the still, the vegetative, the animate, and human nature on these levels. This kind of desire gradually appears in us, and we achieve the highest level, each for himself, individually, and afterwards we head toward old age and death. This is the individual in the individual life of each and every person, and in the life of society or of humanity, uh, the very same happens. There's a parallel. We see, according to all of these degrees of the human development, of the development of humanity, that it goes through evolutionally, that humanity has also gone through the phases of the still vegetative animate and is now on the level of the human recognition and understanding of human life, meaning not wanting to just live as an animal, to have my own, I don't know, corner to live in, to multiply, to be healthy and happy, and to live that way until the end of my days and die happily, quietly. This is a normal animal's life where the organism cares only for its own existence, being. That's the animate level meaning being concerned with your material needs, and that's it. Of course, children and everything is also a part of that. Lately, humanity started entering a different level, started rising from the animate level to the next level. The human level started appearing out of the animate level. This level has no expression in the form we're in, meaning if the still the vegetative and the animate levels exist in nature, in their external appearance, material existence, physical existence, then man differs from an animal only in having his own higher, deeper meaning of life, and that way he develops in the direction of understanding the meaning of life, the upper meaning of life, higher meaning of life. What is beyond the boundaries of our animate level, the thing that is above it is the human level. What do you think, what is the percentage of population that is now um, looking for this kind of search? I think unique individuals. 
Well, maybe not individuals, uh, in, in relation to humanity, you know, it could be hundreds of thousands, but no more than that. And uh, what do you think, nature has its goal? Of course it does. To develop man to the level where he will rise to the highest level of nature. This is what he has to reach, where, where he will start attaining the reason for the, the existence of nature in and of itself, meaning he'll rise above himself and will attain the understanding of what does everything around us exist for. And can it be proved anyhow? No, there's no way. Everyone has to reveal it for themselves. So you are basing your um, what you've just said. The foundation is um, that the people that attained it. It's not there that, that there is no other proof. Oh, what other proof should there be? I, I can't prove anything to anyone. This is how it always is. If my cat is on the animate level, I can't prove anything to it from the human level. Until you yourself reach this level? Until he'll grow to the level of a human being, then he will be able to understand what I want to tell him. So there are certain rules of nature like... Uh, like the the role of and and then some obvious rules and then there's some hidden ones that you can't really reproduce or show to any, everyone okay so the the meaning of life the aim the goal of life is to grow to a level of nature is that you, that you said yeah. We said that uh, before that there's two forces in nature, the giving and rece in receiving. And within us, there's only one force, uh, the, the receiving. So we have to grow the force of bestowal within us. And this is what is called to be similar to nature. Yeah, these two forces come from nature. We have to adapt these two forces internally and to exist in the middle line between them, both controlling the, the right and the left forces at the same time. This is the goal of nature to push us towards that? Yeah. People always thought uh, about the meaning of life in Aramaic re religions. The meaning of life is to become similar to God, to attain God, to be humble and serve Him. In Buddhism, this is the uh, stop, uh, stopping of suffering. In Hinduism, it, it is the receiving of some godly bliss. Confucius talks about the building of perfect society that would be similar to heaven. And science, what is interesting, is not really engaged in the, in the meaning of life. And it just uh, explores when life a, a, appeared and what kind of conditions. There is different, different psycholo uh, philosophical movements that are also exploring um, the meaning of life. Let's um, once again determine everyone, every individual has to have their own meaning of life or should it be similar to everyone, all humanity, or every every person has to have his own on his own level? No. On the one hand, it's like children that are developing and gradually to the measure to which they develop, they grow, and their perspective of the world, their take on life changes, and so on, obviously. And therefore, this is how we relate to a child, that what he understands at the age of five isn't what he'll understand at the age of 10, 15, 20, and so on, meaning these are completely different people. We simply see that he's a little, and then he grows and grows and grows, and in him all the time grows the understanding, consciousness, awareness of his existence. The same with humanity. So we can't talk about some kind of, so about something general. We have to attribute it to the level on which humanity is on. I can't take two people and start comparing them. 
For starters, I have to understand who's who, why does each of them consider, think, and so on the way that he does, and then I can correctly relate to them. Self-cognition and and uh, um, I and become similar to nature is is that the ultimate goal or there's some other ones? Well, actually, if we attain the purpose for which we exist, this is already the threshold to where we start studying that nature, the force that has created us. Meaning, to begin with. It's higher than our, it's on a higher level. We have to rise to the next higher level of our consciousness. And by that, we already shift into the next level. And what happens then? With those that rise to that level, it happens to them. And I can't say anything about them. It's like a five-year-old doesn't understand how a 10-year-old thinks. And a 10-year-old doesn't understand a 20-year-old, and so on. So how can a person determine the meaning of his life? There, there's people that can analyze themselves, do self-scrutiny. Here we're talking about the tools already. Yes, we're going to, to uh, tools now. Let's say he listened to this show and he wants to know what's the meaning of, of his life. So he starts uh, self-scrutiny then he can find some environment that can also engage in this search. And then there is the, uh, the you have to practice it, you have to find some, some, some smart person, a sage who's going to tell you what's the meaning of life, and you have to believe in him, of course. So the question is, how can a person really determine this meaning, or is it a search that, the, that, is, that appears within a person that is provoked by nature itself? What, how do I determine it? Throughout my life, throughout my lifetime, I lived in several different areas, in Belarus, in Russia, in Pribaltica, in Israel. In, uh, I visited and met my students from China, Japan, to all of Europe, and the United States, North, and South America, and so on. I don't know how to answer your question. Everyone has their own approach. Everyone has their own history and their own opportunities. What I'm engaged in is that I show a person, I unfold the tools for attaining the meaning of life to a person. And from there on, with the help of these tools, a person tries to lift himself to the level of that force that has created him, that controls him, in order to be able to understand what was he created for, how is he controlled governed, how can he be in touch, in contact with that ruling force? Okay, let's look into a situation where a person is looking for the meaning of life. Of course, of course, someone who is looking, he will, he will find, he will find a sage, he will analyze himself. But for example, um, today we have a lot of a, a lot of people that are unemployed. Let's say they came uh, to us for a course, to take a course, and we're going to tell them, not right away about the meaning of life, but uh, we, we can't just say the meaning of life is this and that. Or do I have to, uh, where am I coming from, from his, from, from his um, need and lack, the pro problems? Now we know there's pandemic, there's no work, and so on. So the question is, do I come out of his own necessity and and need and then determine uh, the f further development of his life or say right away what's the meaning? Of life? Mm, that's the methodology. I don't know. Everyone can have... I have thousands of students, among them there are dozens or maybe even hundreds of good lecturers, 
By no means do I interfere in their method and how they teach the way they learn from me. They do. They want to learn differently from the books. Please, everyone has their own character, their own approach. Uh, let me tell you how we um, we are planning to to uh, to strategize it, and you tell him if it's thrown or not. First of all, the goal has to be uh, clearly determined. Every general goal. Or general. Okay. The general goal is to come to a cognition of the world. Yes, every time it has to be defined anew. The goal has to be clear, attainable, proved, and clear. Yes. Concrete. So the... So the kind of a general uh, goal is to develop harmonic relationship with nature. This is the goal of our course. After after the course, a person has to understand where is where all the com- sufferings coming from. There are educational goals uh, where a person has to acquire so certain skills. How to uh, solve life problems. There's problems. So we give the person tools and uh, he will know how to determine how to solve them. There is also developmental goals how to become more sensitive towards the other. This is called an emotional IQ. There's practical goals where um, a person will be able to apply those skills in his life, how to uh, relate to your body, how to relate to the fact that there is no work right now, how to regulate the uh, consumption. So we can determine um, goals, but 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 how do we how do we really measure the resu- the, the the results of the? How can we how, how can we measure the results of this goal, the outcomes? So I'm going to give you a couple of um, outcomes, and you're going to tell me if that's right or wrong. First of all. They are creating a team that is based on certain principles, and according to the participation of a person uh, within this activity of this team, uh, can this be a, a sign of his progress? Mm. Yes and no, because in all this, there are big fluctuations, ups and downs, so to say about it very clearly in each given moment in time, that's impossible. When a person starts studying, he experiences certain pressure from nature, and and he starts revealing the uh, evil inclination of um, and evilness of his nature. Can that be a result of 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 his advancement? One of them. One of the results. So if a person is not feeling himself as an egoist, then he's not advancing? It means that he has not revealed himself yet. Okay, the third one. Joy is the great sign uh, of, of the advancement. Can that be? So? Uh, at times, yes. At times, no. Maybe he plunges into... Yeah, on and off. So you you have to feel elevated. Advancing forward consists out of very clear, systemic, uh, uh, good mood, building different uh, everything. You can't just say that it's one thing and that's that. Otherwise, there's no advancement. Advancements always consists of ups and downs, kind of s- circulation. At a certain period, a person starts reconsidering his values, especially corporeal ones, materialistic ones, are going and not to the background, moving towards the background. 
and but there are other things that he would want to get rid of but is not able to say he has a, a house and two cars and he thinks that's a regular normal environment can can that be um can, is that a good analysis uh, towards advancing if these are the petty goals that he sets before him, then yes. No, precisely determining the necessities. What is? What do I really need? What is my normal consumption? How can I determine the correct one? Everyone, everyone does determines, it for himself. Yes, everyone for themselves. I would want to get rid of it, get rid of some things, but I'm not able to. Like I have to be, I have to be wearing a new suit every day. Some people would say this is a redundant. If I'm an actor, for example, then I have hundreds of options and suits and. Once again, this sign that this this result can that be um, my progress? No, it's unrelated to the goal of life, to the meaning of life. This is necessity. Yeah, it's you know just what you wear. Another one is the person starts realizing that there's no negative uh, phenomena in life. Yeah, that's related to understanding the structure of the world, the universe, when he feels that he exists under the influence of an upper absolute positive force. So if I can't justify some phenomena in life, means that I still have to correct something inside of myself. I'm still in the process of development, right? Yeah, a sinner is he who can't justify what's going on with him and in the world. Okay, let's go on. I have to have a clear determination that I myself cannot get rid of this evil inclination within me, that I um, that there's something should happen uh, from the externality that has to be an indicator of my advancement, that realization. Yeah. Correct? A person starts feeling the world the, in a broader way through the through the environment that he's studying with. Yes, he starts feeling the world working on him absolutely through everything, still vegetative animate and especially the human nature. So the greater my perception of the other people is so sort of the emotional IQ this can be the, one of the signs of my advancement. Mm, not necessarily. It's only if I lock it on my upper... Why am I doing that? On the reason for my upper existence, yes. There's another law in nature where uh, individual is equal equals the whole and... Um, how can you check that, that everything depends on me? That from, from, from my personal search that I am looking to be connected to the whole world depends the advancement of all humanity. It depends on the measure to which I annul myself before the upper ruling force. This realization that it only depends on me, the correction of the world, this is this is the sign of my advancement? It is an indicator for your advancement, the measure to which I annul myself, I come to a point where by annulling myself, I control the world. The feeling of confidence and protection that I will be able to reach the goal that comes from my environment, is that an indicator? The goal comes through the environment onto me. Therefore, if I connect myself with the environment, I come closer to the goal. And the last, can I check my intention? How much can I uh, disconnect from the, the self-benefit in, in uh, my intention and act out towards the benefit of this mini-model, mini-structure? Mini, uh, 
of society, how can I disconnect from the self-benefit? Yeah, to the measure to which I relate or associate myself not with myself, but with the environment, with people, or with higher systems. So, um, we talked about uh, different goals. There's um, their strategic plan that we that we build approximately for a year, maybe more. Then we have an educational uh, and 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 development part. We can also plan the meetings um, themselves. And then we're going forward to to Blitz question. We have a couple of minutes left. Let's uh, sum, sum up everything we talked about. Okay, let's do it again. Does nature have a goal and what is it? Yes, the goal of nature is to bring man and all of humanity to wholeness and perfection. What are nature's plans in the nearest future? Exactly that. We, The only last phase is left for us to reach. Do we have to believe in it or can we prove it? No, in advance you can't examine that, but you have to realize it. It is said that the final result is in the initial th thought that everything is predetermined in nature. The only thing that's left is for us to discover it. Is that right? True. What are the risks of, of not being able to reach the goal? One way or another, no doubt, we'll reach the final goal. There are no mistakes in nature. It's leading us to the goal one way or another, only at once for us to understand this goal, acknowledge it, accept it, realize it with its help, but independently So what should we be weary of? Nothing. Only of yourself. How can we connect the main, the the most important goal in your life, together with some goals of that we have with about family and and work? These are two levels, animate and human. A person is on both levels. He needs this world, the family, food, children, and so on. On the other hand, it's necessary for him to also attain the spiritual world, and therefore he has to act the way that he does, dedicate time to both. So they don't contradict each other? No, they have to supplement one another, and each person it's in different ratios. So all those basic desires, we always talk about the pyramid of Maslow. We also have to realize them that that they uh, subjugate to the higher purpose of the goal. Yeah. Our e What's standing in our way of attaining the goal is our ego that is lazy. Do we have to talk about the meaning of life with other people? Yeah, why not? Because we have a common one. It's not something individual and personal? No, no, there's nothing secret about it, nothing concealed or hidden. You have to talk about it literally everywhere to everyone. Is it important to set your goals clearly in the beginning? Very possible, but maybe the planning will be wrong, a person will see how he's changing, where there's you, the air. You have to have a plan. Is that correct? For a day, for a year? Yeah, we're inside of nature. Uh, these are very clear, unchanging laws of our development. And with by understanding them, we have to advance and accelerate our advancement. They're saying if you want to make a God laugh, tell him about your plans. How important is it to uh, plan um, pl plan your goals and what are the criteria of, of... Preferably, even you know that these plan comes from above, but when your plans will coincide with God's, this will be success. What is the success of every um, 
doing. Exactly what I just said, when the plans and the level of development of a person or even humanity completely coincides with the plans of nature. The goal um, in life of each person, can does it have to be individual or general? It's in order to achieve this with the collective. Does it depend on the goals of other people in the society? We can help each other, otherwise we will not be able to advance quickly. Do you agree that the meaning of life is to find the meaning of life? Yes. What is your meaning of life and is it... Did you reach it? I'm trying. What's your goal for the nearest uh, day, month, year? To try to attain the impossible, to make it possible. We talked about planning, setting goals, reaching goals. We got a lot of good advice, practical advice. Thank you very much. See you next time. Thank you.